everybody. So you might be curious about how the Dell Instrument 1525 is doing here lately. You know, I've reverted back, I reverted back to this laptop after putting up with that Toshiba laptop. Um, you know, I was getting sick and tired of it. So I went back to this and, you know, there for a while I was having the same problem that I've always had with this laptop with Windows 10. About every day to every three days or so, um, the laptop would blue screen. The error would be, um, i trying to remember exactly what it was. Faulty hardware corrupted page. It would do this, you know, just at a random, whether you was like browsing the web or doing something more intensive or just laptop just sitting there idle usually. It would just, not a random, just like that. And... I was able to fix that problem. It was quite simple as well. So if you happen to have a Dell Instrument 1525 and you want to put Windows 10 on it before July 29th, um, you know while the free upgrade offer is still available, here's some information you might want to know. This laptop used to have um, BIOS version, I believe, A11. Let's go ahead and start it up. And we'll see what it has now. So now it has A17. The BIOS um, on this used to be A11. And when I had research online, it seems like with some older laptops, the power management, you know, can be a bit different than today's laptops. And of course, this is a Vista Era laptop, by the way. This is from 2008. And, yeah, of course, as I mentioned, Vista Era laptop. So what I did is I went to Dell's website and downloaded the latest BIOS that they have, which is version A17, and applied it. <clears throat> and it, you know, it, it runs fantastic now. Um, no more blue screens or nothing like that. It's been rock solid. Now one thing I want to mention uh, is the BIOS update was a little weird. I mean, should still be in my downloads, I think. Yes, this this is here. Like um, you would run it, which I'm not going. To, I'm not actually going to run it right now because I've already updated the BIOS. But when you go to run it, it acts like it doesn't do anything, or acts like it fails, or something. But when you restart the computer, um, the screen will go black, and the fan will run at maximum speed for a little bit. No indication at all. It's actually on the screen telling you that it's updating the BIOS. So just a big heads up. So anytime you know you try to update your BIOS and, and the little software utility looks like it fails, um, but you got to reboot the machine and it's just you know it doesn't restart as quick as it normally would. You know once Windows actually shuts down and the machine goes to reboot, um, there was a bit of a delay with the screen just being black and the fan went to maximum speed. Pretty common when you're updating BIOSes on laptop. Um, and it actually shut off and then turned itself back on. And the BIOS successfully updated to version A17. So, just a little heads up there. Not sure if it's like because the utility itself is so old that it acts a little finicky with Windows 10. Um, perhaps if you like have Windows 7 on one of these, maybe I would suggest updating the BIOS before you install Windows 10. But, um, yeah, that is actually. What fixed the problem with this laptop in Windows 10? It now runs, you know, rock solid. I mean, the only real gripe I have about this laptop, you know, of course, you know, it's, it's an older laptop. The biggest gripe I have with it is it doesn't have very, very good graphics. It has this, it uses um, onboard Intel 9, um, I think Intel 965 graphics, which is not all that great. In today's standards, like in Google Maps, I can't even operate maps in 3D, which kind of sucks. And Google Earth, you know, and Street View and all that, um, it runs Google Earth better than it runs Google Maps, you know, with you know, through the web browser. And of course, Mid-Tower Lux has no problem with that because it has much, much, much newer graphics card in it. But um, 
Yeah, as of now, I'm still using this laptop. <clears throat> and it still just, you know, keeps right on working just fine. Probably one of the best consumer laptops, you know, mine could buy probably in 2008, I think. I mean, it was a, it's a budget laptop, to be honest with you. It is a budget end laptop. Um, easy as crap to upgrade. I mean, for goodness sakes, it had a, um, a Pentium dual core in it when I got it. 80 gig hard drive, and I think one or two gigs, you know, one gig of RAM. It was just as basic as you could get it. I mean, the previous owner ordered it probably as base model as you could get it. Um, but I swapped in a Core 2 Duo T9300. Um, I think the maximum missile will take is either a T9350, and there's actually a Core 2 Extreme that would actually work with this, but using a Core 2 to Extreme would not be worth um, blowing the extra money on the processor because even though, you know even today they're they're still overly priced like on eBay and places like that and because this thing does not have very good graphics in it but you know if you're just using this for basic stuff like web browsing watching videos um, now it does struggle to watch 1080p on YouTube 720p is fine but 1080 uh, can't quite do it so well but you know, for basic, you know, browsing, watching videos, um, and things like that. A laptop to you, you're going to carry around a lot, you know, something like that. This here is perfect for that. Um, now, of course, I am still on the lookout for a replacement laptop that's a bit newer. And this here, since I've got it working fine now, you know, with the latest BIOS, it'll probably get, um, sent to a family member you know maybe my parents or maybe my friend who I consider family um, it might go to him not exactly sure as of yet <clears throat> but you know for now I'm using this laptop and it still works just absolutely fantastic so if, if you're wanting a decent you know little lap you know just basic in laptop for browsing the web that will run Windows 10 just fine um, you can find these on eBay for pretty cheap in working condition so it might be something to think about so anyways that's an update on the Instagram 1525 I have been I have managed to cure the problem with the uh, with Windows 10 blue screening on it by updating the BIOS from A11 to A17 so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and the question for comments feel free to ask and thanks for watching